So we are going to do the 2020 Amy 1 problem 2. There is a unique positive real number x such that the three numbers log base 8 of 2x, log base 4 of x, and log base 2 of x in that order form a geometric progression with positive common ratio. The number x can be written as m over n where m and n are relatively prime positive integers. We want to find m plus n. Now the first thing I think when we look at this geometric progression log base 8 of 2x, log base 4 of x, and log base 2 of x is these logarithms aren't doing any really difficult stuff. They're not nested or anything like that to make it more complicated. So the first thing we want to do is get everything into the same base. And since all of the bases here are powers of 2, 2, 4, and 8, we can try log base 2 to make everything simpler. So the first thing we can do on this logarithm here is split up the inside because we see a product of 2 times x. So we can write that as log base 8 of 2 plus log base 8 of x. And then we use the change of base formula to write log base 8 of x as log base 2 of x over log base 2 of 8. So 2 is now our new base. If we think about log base 2 of 8, well 2 to the third power is 8. So this on the bottom is equal to 3. Log base 8 of 2, well, because 2 cubed is 8, 8 is 2 to the 1 third power, which means this expression here is equal to 1 third plus log base 2 of x over 3. So we have this as our first term. For the second term, log base 4 of x, we can again write that as log base 2 of x over log base 2 of 4, that's going to be 2, since 2 squared is going to give us that 4. And then we have our final term, log base 2 of x, still the same. Now we know that this is a geometric progression with positive common ratio, which means that each of these terms is a constant multiple of the last one. We can see pretty clearly from these last two what that common ratio is. If we went from log base 2 of x over 2 to log base 2 of x, then pretty clearly we must have multiplied by 2 to do that. That means that we can use this information to solve back for the value of x. Because remember, the final thing we want to figure out is the number x. So we already used the relationship between these two terms. So let's use the relationship between the first and second term to solve for x. In order to do that, we can use the fact that the common ratio is 2. So our first term is 1 third plus log base 2 of x over 3. And our second term is log base 2 of x over 2. Since we multiply by 2 to go from the second to the third term, we also must have multiplied by 2 to go from the first to the second term, which means this term over here must be double that first term. Now we just have to solve for x. So let's start by getting everything out of the denominator. So we'll multiply by 2 and 3, or just multiply by 6. And that will give us on the right, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 4 log base 2 of x equals this 3 times log base 2 of x. And now we can just subtract 3 log base 2 of x on both sides. So we get 1 log base 2 of x on the left and then we subtract 4 on both sides, so we get negative 4 on the right side. Then we take 2 to the power of both sides. 2 to the log base 2 of x is just x, and that equals 2 to the negative 4, which we can write as 1 over 2 to the 4th power, and we know 2 to the 4th power is 16. So x is equal to 1 over 16. All we have to do now is find m plus n, so we have 1 plus 16, which is equal to 17, and that's our final solution. So the way we got here was looking at our geometric progression of logs and realizing that the best thing to do would be to put all the logs in the common base of 2. Once we did that, we could see pretty clearly the common ratio in our sequence from these last two terms, and then we can use the fact that the second term is double the first to set up a simple log equation, do some algebra, and get to our answer just like this.